Welcome to Anime Thoughts, where I, your anime thought, will lead you into discussion. Today's topic is a top 10 action anime. Before you yell at me for not putting in your favorite action anime, I just want you to know I exclude the big boys to bring you something you may have not watched yet. I do this for you weebs so you don't have to, so make sure you hit that red button that says subscribe. Only once though, so you don't unsubscribe. That would, that would actually make me sad. The last thing you absolutely have to know is that I read your comments every single day, so if you want me to make a video that pertains to anime, ask away. I can't promise I'll do all of them, because some of you guys have no chill, but I'll do my best. Number 10, God Eater. Humanity is on the verge of extinction due to creatures that out of nowhere appear destroying everything that they set their eyes on. The only thing that is able to even damage the origamis is something called the God Arc. It's basically massive weapons that can only be used by modified humans. The anime is kinda cool with lots of action. Number 9, Schwarzemarken. Look, I don't know what the title means either. What I do know is it's based in Germany and somewhat similar to God Eater in the sense that humanity is fighting never ending waves of monsters. What is different is that they use mechas, and there is a lot of politics with other nations. My brain is telling me it was pretty decent, and also, how many times do we get to watch Japanese animators portray Germany? Number 8, Inuyashiki. When I think of this anime, I can't help but be reminded of the yin and yang philosophy. An old man that is pure hearted and a young man whom is troubled in the head are both given robotic bodies that are ridiculously overpowered. They fight only a few times, but the fights in the anime were dope. Fair warning, all the deaths will sit heavy in your heart. Number 7, 91 Days. Action in anime is usually followed by powers and things that are not available in the real world. 91 Days is very down to earth in the sense that it feels very familiar. Angelo's family died at the hands of the Venetti Mafia, destroying Angelo's life in one night. Angelo basically went full Batman, and we watch him work towards his revenge. Number six, Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. Heavy sword art online vibes, but very different. All of a sudden, several people were brought into a new world that screams adventure-like vibes. Unfortunately for all these new people, they were not spawned into sword art online, and many of them get brutally murdered from even goblins, the lowest level of creatures in most fantasy worlds. Will they be able to overcome the little green killers? Who knows? Number 5, Kenichi the Mightiest Disciple. Do you ever feel like you can surpass your limits even if you were dealt weak cards when you were born? Well boy do I have an anime for you. You get Kenichi that gets his ass kicked every day so he can be a top notch martial artist. I really really love this anime because watching someone grow with training day by day is so invigorating. Number 4, Kaze no Stigma. There are clans that specialize in one type of magic. If you're born into such a clan, then you will master the ways of that type of magic. Unfortunately, Cosma sucks at using fire techniques and consequently thrown out of the clan. With no one to rely on, he somehow became the strongest wind user. Lots of action and one that I remember fondly of. Number three, Cabanera of the Iron Fortress. People gave this anime a bad rap, trying to say it's unoriginal and all that jazz, but I have to say I really like the concept. I believe it has a lot of potential to be a good series. The world is being destroyed by zombies that are really powerful. The rest of humanity is connected to each other by railroads that lead to each fortress, and it's cool to see how they cope with the impending doom. Number 2, Twin Star Exorcist. The world is in a battle that they don't even know they are fighting. The world has two realms, one where humans roam and one that demons roam. An organization of exorcists are keeping the world safe when demons find a way into the human realm. The main characters are very powerful exorcists with extremely bad past. They are meant to save the world, but I wonder if they have it in them. Number 1, Black Lagoon. No powers, no crazy mechas, nothing extra needed for this anime. Just a group of people always trying to get a quick buck in a lawless city where someone dies every day. Revy's 9mm sword cutlass pistol has never made me want a stainless steel 9mm more. I would like a 45 version to be honest. <clears throat> anyway, 
It has tons of action, great plot, does a good job building up events, and a very solid anime. Big thank you for all of you that decided to watch the full video. If you thought this video was helpful, just go ahead and subscribe. I upload every Thursday for the most part with videos just like this one. I noticed that ever since I made Crunchyroll, Netflix, and Hulu videos, I have many of you wanting me to make videos for each individual one. So if you see, for example, two action anime videos, one is going to be for a different website, being that they all have different licenses, causing them to have rights to separate anime. And I'm going to see how that works out, but for this video, this one was more of just get rid of all the big anime and try to see what kind of top 10 action anime that I could find overall. So this isn't hitting Crunchyroll, Netflix, or Hulu or anything like that. It's just me looking at a couple of them. With all that being said, let's reach 10k and I will see you weebs in the next one.